Now, for the second tier window template, I will be using 6 inches cake or 6 inches dummy. Whichever you decide to use, you should make sure that the height is up to 10 inches. Okay? Now, position a 10 inches board under the cake and 10 inches board on top of the cake. After that, take the accurate measurement from the downside of the board to the upper side of the board. Okay? Now, the measurement gave me 10 and a half inches. Now, remember that the board is 10 inches already. Don't forget that the board has four parts. Okay, being a square board. So you have to make sure once you get one side measurement, you can use it for the rest. All right. So we start with the height. I am starting by the left side. Okay, to get the height and the height is 10 and a half inches. Take note of that. All right. After measuring that side, always make sure you give a mark when you measure. You go to the right side. I repeat the same. And after that, you place your ruler and rule across. Remember, we are trying to cut out the total paper we'll be using for the window. Now, the paper I am using is called art card. The longer paper that I'm talking about is called FBB card. Okay, that one is very long. With that one, you can get your total measurement. But I'm not using the longest one. I'm using the one that is shorter and whiter. The other one is a bit milky in color. All right, now rule across the measurement and then cut out the excess all right now we have gotten the height the next is the partitions of the square board and remember the square we are using is 10 inches but we are going to be adding a quarter inch to each 10 inches we are going to measure okay now the reason is because by the time you start going round, remember you have to pass through angle to get to the next partition when you are folding your paper so if you don't add a quarter inch, at the end of the day, you will not be able to go around your board. In fact, you will go around, but it will not be matching the partitions, okay? So that means we are now measuring 10 and a quarter, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a quarter. Because my paper is not up to, I'm stopping at 3. But if you are using the FBB card, make sure you go 10 and a quarter times 4. So, to achieve this, you have to measure the down and then measure the up. Okay, just get your 10 and a quarter inches down and also up. At the end of the total measurement, you are going to also measure half inch. That half inch is what you are going to be using to join at the end of the paper. Okay, and after that, you rule across. This time around, you are not ruling to cut, but you are ruling to get the demarcations right. Like I said, this paper is not long enough, so I stopped at 3, as the next one will not be enough for me to get an equal measurement, okay? But there is something you must do. At the end of that 3, or even the 4, you must measure an extra half inch for your joining. Don't forget, this is very vital. You can see the smaller one I folded there is a quarter inch. That's the part you will use in joining together. Now, fold them according to the lines and this is what I have gotten. The three partitions, remaining one. So, I can use my ruler to measure the extra one. All I need to do is to measure 10 and a quarter inches or I decide to use one of the partitions of the paper to measure that. But remember, because you are going to be joining it, at the end of that paper, you must measure extra half inch or one inch for the joining. Always remember that. So I decided to use a part of the paper or one of the partitions of the paper, okay, to measure the remaining one. Now, after measuring with the paper, rule according to the measurement. But remember, the parts of the paper I use for the extra measurement does not have the half inch or one inch so i have to use my ruler to make sure i add the one inch at the end of the measurement after measurement rule across and then with your craft knife cut to remove the excess
Now, after cutting, fold the one inch and set aside. And then with your UHU gum, join them together. So that you can see the necessity, the importance of that one inch. Now, do this patiently as it doesn't dry that fast like some other glue, okay? But once it dries, you are fully assured that it will not scatter again. Now, art card is that same card we normally use in making the boxes we use in carrying our cake. Okay, and you can always get them in the art shop. So you can see, this is what I have now. I have the complete four partitions, but I'm not going to be joining them now as much work is still needed for the windows. Now, for the windows, all you need to do is to measure half half inch, okay? Half inch from beginning to the end of the paper as if you are measuring the handrail. You remember the way we did the handrail. And then you pick out the part, use your discretion to pick out the parts you think the windows should be, okay? You can even use the method I'm showing you here. I have used biro so that you'll be able to see the lines. So this is exactly what I did. You can screenshot it to remember it and then go and practice it. Now, from up going down, I measured one one inch, okay? The double lines you see there, each one is one inch from beginning of the paper to the end, okay? While the middle lines, okay, the stripes you saw there is the half half inch, okay? Now, for the in-between lines, I have just given a gap of one one inch to the lines so that something will be carrying the window, okay? So this is just what I did. Then after I pick out the ones that should be picked out as if we are making a handrail. It is exactly the same way with that of the handrail. Picking out some and leaving some. Just make sure you mark to get, to get it done right, okay? In other words, you can decide not to even go by the lines and just work with the partitions of your paper. Use your ruler and position the windows on your own, but make sure they are placed, the heights of the windows are equal, both the height and the down part of the window are equal and on the same line. You must not go through the stress to get a line, okay? Now, the line is only to help me. It is not that it's compulsory. It's only to help me so that I will not be able to make mistake, okay? So please, you can as well cut out your window directly but be careful to get it right, all right? What do I mean by cutting it out directly? That is draw window shapes and then create the stripe designs and then pick out the, the ones you're supposed to pick out inside the window to make it stripe windows, okay? As you are cutting to remove the unwanted ones, make sure not to pass the curve or the down line. Remember, it is a window that you are trying to create on a wall. Note, while trying to create these windows, always bear in mind that the front side, that is the part you'll be using as the front side, the windows must be at least 6 inches apart. That is, they shouldn't be closer at all as you're going to be positioning your door there. And for the curve, I have used my round cutter to create the curve, okay? You can use anything that has a round shape. So this is what you will be doing until you go around. If you have any question or maybe there's something that is confusing you, please feel free to drop your question and I will answer all of them. Okay, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.